Hey guys, Retro Badger here. In this video, we're going to look at the Utopia class. So, as you can see, it's a remix of the Sovereign class design. We have the Sovereign Saucer and Warp Nacelles. It looks like a more up to date Freedom and Saladin class, although with two Warp Nacelles. Is there actually any advantage to having stacked nacelles? Of note is the lack of deflector array, although I'm assuming that's what that is at the front there, in a very strange position. This ship has some serious firepower for its size. It comes equipped with the usual photon torpedoes, but also has 50 quantum torpedoes and a mean full spread. I thought to begin with, we'd have a giant fleet battle with 10 utopias versus 10 monosomies. Well, the way I see it, we're in Bridge Commander Remastered. The engine can handle it, so why not? Okay, so that spread that I told you about. There we go, look at that. For a ship this size, that's pretty impressive. And we also have Quantums as well. Look at that, we've done hull damage. They seem to be ignoring us though, and they're going for someone else. I almost wonder, actually, if we should go for the ship that's targeting us. Oh! That was almost a collision. Yeah, the Monosomy's armor is definitely helping there. Let's go to Quantums. These ships are very fast as well. See this? We're almost at 10,000 kph there. That's impressive. Okay, the uh, Utopias are being wiped out. I'm not really sure what I expected, to be honest, with this result. But I thought, you know, slightly newer design. Oh! Oh no! They missed! Oh, this isn't over. Well, that's the result in a fleet battle. Let's try one-on-one -on -one instead. The Monosomies won that one. Although in terms of class of ship, obviously the Monosomy class would be regarded as more powerful. But I just thought Sovereign is a newer design. Gosh. The Monosomy is powerful, but at the end of the day it is a Galaxy class underneath, so... But this isn't quite a Sovereign class, is it? We've lost a Nacelle! Hey, it matches! It's now... Now it's like the Saladin, isn't it? Oh, okay. It's more cannon now, I suppose. Right, I'm going to attempt to fire those Quantums. Oh, I hope they hit. I really do. No freaking way! We got the sensors! Have we destroyed the sensors? Yet they're still attacking. I think we've got their sensor array. That's amazing. Wow. Flukiest. One of the flukiest battles ever then, I would say. Gosh, we're still struggling, even firing all those quantums. Captain, our attacks are draining it shows you how strong the Monosomy class is, to be honest, because even though it's disabled, I'm still struggling to inflict damage. It's incredible. Okay, I'm going to try this again. Oh! Did you see that then? The warp core said disabled and then it went back to normal. We got some pretty good repair capability on there. Got him! Where's my warp nacelle? That was pretty impressive, although I do think if we hadn't scored that lucky shot, the Monosomy probably still would have won that. I mean, we did lose a warp nacelle for crying out loud. What do you guys think of the design? Well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.